How's it going, y'all? Devin here from Tactical Cowboy. So myself, Tommy, and our buddy Ryan are out here doing some awesome carbine training, preparing for the static and mobile workshops up at the Armory this weekend. Pro tip for you. So we're working on these very, very small targets. So about a two by one inch square at seven yards, working standing, kneeling prone. Basics, right? One thing that we find extremely important when working these fundamentals is ensuring that the reticle settles before you break that shot, not trying to time a figure eight. You got to stop doing that because you will miss the target. It is not as predictable as you think, and I'm going to tell you why. So while that reticle swaying around in whatever pattern it's going in, you're thinking, I'm about to break the shot when the reticle's right on the target, right? The thing is, it takes time for my brain to send the message to here, and then from here to break the trigger, then the trigger gets broken, and now the projectile's got to go out of the rifle. So we've tested this a lot with these really fine targets, trying to figure out, okay, what is the deviation? And literally, on targets this small, trying to time that and go for really, really rapid pace, you can drop them out. On targets this small, only from seven yards. So imagine what that's going to do to you at 100 yards. You're going to miss for sure. But when we go ahead and have the discipline to have that fixed position, let it settle just for a moment, then break that shot from the wall, we're nailing center line, no problem, no problem. So remember that. Just because you say in your brain, round's going to go down range, there's time. There's a dwell time. I don't know exactly how long it is. It's so many tenths or hundredths of a second. But that matters because by the time that round gets sent down range, that reticle's not here anymore, it's here. Or it's not here anymore, it's here. There is a technique that I learned when running precision rifle with timing that if you absolutely have to. You really got to know your gun. You got to know the distance, the time of flight, all these things. So it's a great thing to train. We're going to be training it at Precision Carbine on May 11th. But that is when that reticle swing, once you understand the time of flight of your bullet, you can, with decent confidence, break that shot knowing, okay, the amount of time it's going to take my brain to get that projectile out, that reticle will be center line by the time that round's going out of the barrel. That is a technique. It is not extremely dependable. I've worked with it, but at the end of the day, we always like to preach, make the reticles settle before you break that shot. Super important. So go try that. Also, get fit, get tan, be a badass. Have a good one.